welcome to this wave.video tutorial. My name is Anita Wong and in this short training I'm going to show you how to create a video format which is 4x5 or 2x3 which is not quite a square but it's more like a wider but slightly taller. So the best way for me to explain this to you is to share my screen with you and jump into the wave.video editor. It's a slightly more immersive video format and the best way to experience how it's going to look on your screen is inside the editor. So if you're not sure exactly what that format is, the best way is to actually create a project from scratch and then choose the formats from the editor within. Okay, so click the start from scratch rather than using any of these templates. Okay, I've just put my little flashy light on for you so you can see what I'm doing. So when you select create from scratch, it comes into the area where you have to add your videos and photos. But what I want to take you to is this select formats tab. So when you select your formats, you can see at the moment it's pre-selected what I've previously used. But what we want to do is we want to look for the 4x5 or the 2x3. So YouTube don't offer that size. So let's go down to the Facebook. So as you can see, Facebook offer a 4x5. And you can see over in the image over here how immersive the video can be. So as you can see, it doesn't take up the full screen, but it takes up the width, but it's just a little bit shorter. And it, and it shows here that on Facebook, you can have up to 240 minutes with that format. So that's the standard news feed format. So you could click that. And also the 2 by 3 is another shape. So just looking at the difference, you see how they're just slightly different shapes. And depending on how immersive you want your video to be, it can depend on whether you choose the slightly more square version or the slightly longer but wider version as well. So we can just flick those two on. And then I'm gonna go down and untick the one that we don't want, which is the nine by 16 in the story. So we're just gonna untick that. So we're gonna go back to add video. We're gonna work on the four by five and you're gonna go and add your videos or your photos. So you just basically can upload your own content or you can add some videos in. So let's just choose a random video just to show you how you can see what it looks like. So we'll just choose this one. So the editor will add that to your video for you and it will also add it for the length of time it is. Now, as you can see, you can see how that it's more of a squarish rectangular shape. And then if you go to the two by three vertical, it's just slightly narrower and the same height, but just a little bit narrower. So there's the differences between the four by five and the two by three. And both formats can be uploaded to Facebook without a problem. So once you're happy, you can either keep the length that you've got there or you can trim the length of your video by going into the trim. So this is 24 seconds long. So we can just make that a little bit shorter perhaps. Let's do a 19 seconds and then just click trim. Now you can either do a video where you have the same background running all the time and then you add your text boxes in. So as you can see, I've got a three second text box there which is ready for my message. And then I can add another text box and do a different type of message and so on and so on, until you get to the call to action at the end. Once you're at the call to action at the end, it gives you the options of either having just your logo or your logo with a call to action at the bottom here. You can, of course, change up the coloring to whichever suits you. If you're on a plan that gives you the option to have your brand, you can choose your brand coloring. Otherwise, you can choose from the default colors that they have inside the editor, like so. So you can swap up the content depending on what colors and options that you want. So once you're happy with your video, you can add some graphics and stickers to it. So if you go to the graphic and sticker section, you can add on some stickers. Now remember that wherever the bit is highlighted, that's where you're gonna be adding your sticker. So if you want to add it at the beginning, you click the whole thing, and then you go back to graphics and stickers, and we can do this and we can do keep fit. 
and then search for the options in there. So this one's quite good. So we're going to pop that in there like so. And you see how it's come at the beginning. Like I said, when it comes on at the beginning and then you can add them along. Now you can move them along in your videos to show up wherever you would like them to go. And you can also move it around the screen to have it where you want it. And you can make it bigger and smaller if you wish. So if you've got your message here, so let's just do day at the gym. And then you can move that around to fit in for where you want it. Shrink it, oops, that's the wrong one. Shrink it or make it bigger. And then you can do the same with this one. You can just add your own message. And then you can drag that along as well. So you could have a gap. So you can, it's quite versatile what you do. And as you can see that if you play that there, it's going to play from where you put that on. So it depends on where you would like your activities to start. So we're going to move that down actually down to the bottom there. So you can move it around and fit it in how you would want it to be. Then you can add your music. So you can add some music. So we're going to do playful, any of those ones you can choose. And we can just listen to the music in the background before you add it if you want to. Once you're happy with your music, you just add it in. Now, again, it will cut it to the length, but the actual audio itself was longer. So you can actually click on the audio and go to trim and decide which part of the music you would like to use in your video. So you can go along like this and then click trim and it will bring that portion in for you. Once you're happy with everything, you can go to the publish button and depending on your plan, you can either post direct to Facebook, YouTube or Twitter, or you can download it to your own computer and then repurpose it onto your social media platforms. So I hope you found that training useful. That was to show you how you can create a video from scratch using either the four by five format or the two by three format, but how by selecting the formats in the select format section, you can see how immersive each different style of video can be on the mobile phone on the right. Any questions about this training, please pop them in the comments below.